We're going to talk about friction. Friction often gets a bad rap. It always sounds so negative, but there are times when you really want friction. And then, of course, there are times when you really don't want to add friction uh, when you're on your spinning wheel. So <clears throat> uh, friction is a force, and it is a force that you see whenever any two surfaces contact each other and slide against each other. So if there's relative movement of two surfaces, there's going to be some friction. And mathematically, friction is related to something called the coefficient of friction times the normal force. What that means is that it has to do, the amount of friction you've got has to do with the characteristics of the surfaces that are contacting, as well as how hard they are pressing against each other. And both of those things come into play when you're spinning. So with the hands, you know, if I put more hand lotion on, um, they would slide more easily. That would change the surface uh, um, nature. Um, likewise, if I um, put sand on my hands and pressed really hard, then I would have more friction between the two hands. So let's talk about where uh, friction is a good thing and where friction is not so good. Uh, this is my Reeves wheel. It's got the double drive. Um, and so I've got this uh, band here, the drive band. And it's important on this particular wheel, and actually on all wheels, that there be um, friction between the drive band and the drive wheel. So there shouldn't be any slippage here. So that's nice and tight. So that's really good. Also, whatever is driving, uh, whatever is being driven by the drive band, needs to have um, friction. And in this case, on the whorl, you want to have um, more friction than on the bobbin. But they both move a little bit. And you can always tighten that up by changing the tension knob. So those are both good places for there to be friction. Now, there are a number of places where you don't want to have friction. We've got a lot of motion going on here. The wheel is moving, the treadle is moving, the flyer is moving, the bobbin is moving. All of those things are, have surfaces that are contacting each other. And if there's too much friction there, your wheel won't be happy, you'll have to treadle harder, and it will be more difficult, difficult to control your spinning. Now, keep this in mind, as you're spinning, all of these things move less than these things. So you've got the, the flyer and the bobbin that are seeing a lot of action. And then the wheel and the treadles are seeing a little bit less action. So you want to deal with uh, reducing the friction on the flyer and the bobbin more frequently than you would on the wheel, the drive wheel and the treadles. But all of those things need attention.